what was the biggest disappointment for that game tonight? Ah, uh, I mean, so many. Uh, you know, they came in and gave us a good old fashioned a kicking, mm -hmm. and uh, there's not more you can say to it. What were they able to do that gave you guys trouble tonight? I haven't actually watched the film just yet, but um, you know, from from hindsight, like they did a little, a little bit whatever, whatever they wanted. Yeah. They shot the ball extremely well from the three point line. Um, you know, I think they had 50, maybe 60 points from the three point line. Yeah. Um, it started with Draymond. Uh, Draymond did a great job of attacking our scheme and putting pressure on our defense, either to uh, you know assist or to score, make plays, and obviously Steph, you know, hitting the shots that he hit. Uh, you know, Eagle Dollars production off the bench. Uh, they got a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. right. It seemed like you guys were struggling to move defensively in ways that you did on Christmas. Was the game plan different today? Were you trying different schemes? Uh, you know, the game plan was the game plan when next year. LeBron, was it more of what they did against you or what you guys didn't do against yeah, Lewis, oh, or, or what caused more of the problem? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's a it's kind of a rhetorical question. I mean, it's obviously it's both. It's both of what they did and what we didn't do. I mean, that's what that's what always it's always that in a win or a loss. Uh, you always wish you could play better, and then but you also give credit to the team that you're facing. So um, that's always the case. Given, given that you guys have played well on that road trip coming back, how disappointing is it to not have it tonight? Ah. Uh, well, I mean, for me, I'm not gonna put too much into it. As much, obviously, you wanna against the top teams, you wanna you wanna you wanna play well. Mm -hmm. you, uh, and we haven't done that. You know, we own three versus the top two teams in the West. Mm -hmm. uh, we own one against the Bulls um, so far, and uh, we got to play better basketball. We got a long way to go. Tonight was an example of how far we got to go to get to a championship level, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we just got to continue to get better. When it's an a kicking like that. Just from a professional standpoint, how miserable is it to be in the middle of it when it's happening? Uh, I say miserable. It's, it's just not an end of the world. I think it's, a, it's still a basketball game. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't take it that far to it. I mean, it's something it's more than that. Into the office. Ah, uh, I don't know. I've never been in an office, so <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't had, I haven't had that. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate to never been in an office, but. Um, I, for me, it's never as bad and it's never as good as it may seem when you're going through it. Um, obviously, you know, you want to play well, and uh, especially on a stage like this versus, you know, the defending champions. And um, But I, for me, as, as a leader of this ball club and over the last, I would say, six or seven years, um, I've always been even keel about wins and losses, um, especially at this uh, at this juncture of the season. You said you, this shows how far you have to go to be a championship yeah. team. Where does that start? Uh, it probably starts we got to get back to the basics. Um, you know, when you play against uh, teams like this, you know, Golden State, San Antonio, Chicago, uh, you got to you gotta, you, you gotta have just a, a, a laser sharp uh, mentality, both, phys both physical and mental. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't have laws because uh, they make you pay. Um, and, uh, you know, there's some of the things that we can get away with against certain teams that you can't get away with against these teams. So um, it shows how um, how far we got to go. And we, I continue to say, I say it all the time, we are a young basketball team. We have we had some success last year, but as far as experience, we don't have much together. So, you know, we still got to continue to put it together. LeBron, is that a plus, the fact that you did <coughs> You had it from last year, the experience of last year, that you know what you have to get to. Does that help at all? Well, I mean, you, it's something that you can fall back on, but last year is last year. And uh, I just, I think we're a totally different team than we were last year. Um, I think we have, obviously, we have some familiar faces, but we've had some different, um, some difficult challenges to start this season. You know, so, um, you know, like I said, we got to get back to the basics. There's going to be a lot of things that we need to do better. In order for us to, uh, you know, to play better basketball going down the stretch. And Brian, did you have much to say to the guys <clears throat> after? No, nah, what did it say? There's nothing, there's nothing to say. Um, you know, for me, I don't. You know, it's easy to say something when it's when it's bad. I think, you know, for me, I like to get on this when we're doing well. You know, to try to keep us focused. Tonight is, you know, I'm not I'm not a kicking man when you down type of guy. It's not my motto. <coughs> you lose any confidence? 
Say hey. Do you, have you lost any confidence? Who, me? Yeah, as a team. Like, no, I don't think so. Um, we're still a ball club who just went 5-1 on, on a tough road trip. But, uh, you know, we, we do understand how we got to get better. And uh, I always say, I say it all the time, and uh, sometimes you guys like, well, you guys, you like, what's eight in a row? But we still got to get better. We're not that good um, to where we can have laws like we had tonight in uh, the show. When you got locked up with uh, Curry in the first quarter, and, I mean, he ended up on the ground. Can you, can you tell us what happened in, in real time there? I set a screen. He held me right in front of the official. And I got him a ball for me, and they caught off as a foul. It's, it's like... It's the same thing when you're a kid in class. It's always the second guy who get caught. You know, I didn't tell the joke, but I laughed. <laughs> I got caught. Yeah. That's what happens. You mentioned that uh, you guys uh, are uh, the better team so far this year. Is there one common denominator in those losses that stands Yeah, out? mentally we got to be sharp. we got to be more sharp. Uh, those the teams are very experienced. Guys have experienced a lot. You look at the Chicago team. We got guys on their team that won championships before. Guys have been in a lot of playoff series. Uh, and you look at San Antonio, obviously their resume speaks for itself. And you look at this Golden State team, their resume speaks for itself. And they got, they got experience, um, and they got high ba basketball IQ, and they got guys who's just sharp mentally at all times. And, uh, and we're not at that point yet. We have uh, some inexperienced guys. Um, they haven't played a, you know, enough meaningful basketball games where they can fall back on, you know. And, uh, you know, when they get a little tough sometimes, you know, it's not like they can kind of fall back on previous experiences to try to help them get through it. So, you know, we're going to have a lot of bumps, and that's okay. You know, we, we'll learn from it and we'll get better from it. But um, the best teacher in life is experience, and uh, it's good to go through it. All right, All right guys, thank you. Appreciate it.